Literally no one asked me to vlog, so I decided to do it all month long. You see me live my life every day, girl. So get ready to be bored, you're watching Flaypril. I know that doesn't rhyme, but literally nothing rhymes with Flaypril. Good morning, everybody. Today's one of those days where I woke up like sad. <laughs> Do you guys have those days where you just wake up in bed and you're like, I don't want to get out of this bed? It's so weird because it's like in normal life, pre-quarantine, it's like there are different things to do every day. I'm like, okay, today I have meetings. Okay, today, today I'm like getting ready to go on tour. Today we're flying to this city. Today I'm performing. Today I'm writing with my brother. Today I'm editing a video. Today, like every day was something different. And now every day is exactly the same. And so you wake up and you just kind of go like, okay, should I put on new clothes or should I make bread? What do I do? Like, it's just the weirdest weirdest feeling i don't know what i would do if i didn't have flynn because like obviously eric and Corey and i were all talking about this like doing quarantine without flynn would be miserable like i know a lot of people are complaining about like oh try being quarantined with your kids like yeah it's hard to be quarantined with a kid like i'm certainly not bored like most people are like there's no time for boredom what does means? <laughs> there's no time for boredom that's for sure but <laughs> <laughs> and like, yeah, there are moments that are difficult and I wish like Eric and I could just binge watch a show all day long and do nothing else. However, <laughs> that would get really boring after a while. And so it's really nice to like have someone in the house who makes us laugh, who makes us smile, who's learning new things every day and just like so full of joy and cuteness. Like, <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, he's like, what's keeping me going? And my heart goes out to everyone who's quarantined alone, who has no one with them. Like, I can't even imagine how freaking difficult that must be anyway uh, i'm gonna go make some bread you guys look how messy my office is it's disgusting Ugh, i really need to clean it the plan today is to edit the miranda video i have made i whipped coffee i have made bread so don't worry all is as it should be in the ballinger stockland de soto household look who's awake from his nap we do you want a vlog here flynn you take it So I'm just sitting here in the direct sunlight editing the Miranda episode and Eric is in the backyard of Flynn and he goes, Lovey! And I turn around and the boys are building a tent in the backyard together. Flynn's carrying quite that big old pole over there. <laughs> Good luck. Apparently, Eric has big plans. He asked me, I didn't know this is what he meant, but a little bit ago he goes, can we go on a vacation, like a fake vacation this weekend? I was like, sure, and I just thought he meant like turn on the pool and like go swimming, but apparently he meant go camping. So, he's setting up the tent in the backyard. If he thinks I'm sleeping outside, that's hilarious. Not happening, but I will pretend to camp out back and we can make s'mores. That sounds really fun. So, hey, what a cutie! That's such a good idea. For the first time in my quarantine history, I'm not cooking dinner tonight. I know we have been really good about uh, not leaving our house at all. We're really, really obeying the rules and trying to stay as safe as possible. So we do not leave our house except for walks that where we're very distanced from other humans. And we go to the grocery store once every week or two. And we're really careful when we do. And Corey is just not getting home. And he got us in and out, in and out. I'm so excited. Glorious, glorious. Oh my God, it's one in the morning and I finally just finished editing the finale, whatever you want to call it, of the Miranda series I've been doing. I love it so much. Not that I love, I don't love like me, I'm so amazing. Before I started doing the series, I had this like idea in my head of how I wanted it to end. Like I didn't know what the story would be or like what I would do in the videos. I just had this idea for the ending of a series. And I was like, oh, I really want to do that. And so I started like doing this stupid little series, whatever. 
You guys should go watch it if you haven't already. Please go watch it. Please, please, please. Because it seems as though these days, Miranda videos are hidden from subscriptions, which is really frustrating. Like a lot of people will be like, I'm subscribed to you, but you never post anymore. I'm like, I literally am posting all the time. Or they've been like, how come you haven't posted Miranda videos in so long? I love Miranda. And I'm like, I literally post Miranda all the time. If you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. But the reason I love this so much is because it's like the epitome of my favorite things about Miranda. I love doing this character. I've always loved doing the character, but my favorite things that have come from the character, my favorite jokes, my favorite videos, my favorite bits and haters back off, my favorite parts of the books, my favorite parts of the live shows are the things that were not planned that just happen like organically. So I had this idea for the video to end. I don't want to spoil anything if you haven't seen it, but there's something tragic that happens. And that's what I had in my head. But I was like, what should that? I was like, I can't, I wanted it to just end on it being like this tragic, sad thing. And I was like, well, I maybe should end it on a happier note. So my idea was to have Flynn come in, like Miranda's son, which she has named Pinto Bean comes in and just like walks away holding hands with Miranda like that was like okay that'll be like a lighter note and show like everything's gonna be okay like whatever and so it's not so sad but while I was filming in the bathroom like earlier in the day like I hadn't shot the like walking down the sidewalk with Flynn yet I was filming in the bathroom during Flynn's nap and then Flynn woke up and Eric was with him and I guess Flynn was really upset I don't know if he had a bad dream or what but he really wanted me Eric came knocking on the door while I was filming and I I could hear Flynn upset and he was like he really wants his mama like he needs it I was like of course come on in I always stop filming obviously um for Flynn <gasps> <laughs> And so I just, I didn't turn off the camera, I just kept filming. And I don't show Flynn's face in um, random videos because I feel like, I've never really explained this. It's a weird thing, I'm gonna get on a tangent. So I'll come back to that topic. Flynn came in on, he wanted to cuddle me and he was so cuddly and so needy and so sweet. And I was just being mom and like oh, hugging him and comforting him. And then I was like, oh my God, I'm still filming. I, maybe I can use some of this in this series. I, I doubt it, but like I'm filming. So I might as well like try it. And you can see in the footage me like shift from like my face to like I do a Miranda face. Cause like maybe I can use this footage. I'm so glad I did that because it makes the ending of this series just the most beautiful, amazing thing in the world. And Eric explained it perfectly tonight. And I might cry and it has nothing to do, I don't think I am so amazing or I'm so incredible. It's Flynn and like just what he means to me and during this time and the whole series is like silly and stupid and Miranda's like panicking and doing stupid things while she's quarantined. And then at the end, when you see it, you'll see like I'm with Flynn and I'm, I'm really scared and I'm freaking out the whole time. Eric said, there's something about this that's making us all like turn into kids again, where we're like, we're scared. And we kind of all just like want a hug from our mom. Like we just are turning into like panicky little kids. We're like, well, what's happening? I don't understand. And you just kind of just want to be around your mom this time or a parent or some sort of parental figure, someone who will guide you and tell you it's going to be okay. Like that's kind of, I feel like that's what we all want and need right now is someone who's just going to be like, hey, it's going to be okay. Because no one knows what's going to happen with all this. And it's just scary and weird. So the, every episode, Episode, Miranda's panicky, weird, stupid mess. But in that moment, I was like half in character and half not. Miranda at this point in the episode is like really sad and devastated and scared and freaked out. But then she's holding her baby and I'm actually not acting, holding my son who was scared from where, whatever reason, whether it was a bad dream or he just was sad, I don't know. What naturally just came out of my mouth was everything's gonna be okay. And that's like what we all just want someone to say to us right now, but it wasn't so natural for me to say that to him, to comfort him, like to comfort my baby by saying, it's gonna be okay, everything's okay. It's so cool that like my idea for the end of this was just like be walking, holding hands with my baby, but now just what organically just happened on accident. Didn't even think of it in the moment as like being a cool ending. I didn't even know if I would put it in until I was watching the footage. And then I talked to Eric about it and showed it to him. And he was like, that's what we all want right now. Like we all just want someone to say, we all want our mom to just be like, it's gonna be okay. That's kind of how it ends. Like even though she's freaking out and devastated and sad and scared, and a total idiot. Flynn or Pinto Bean in this scenario comforts Miranda just by needing her. 
then she is comforting him in the end and it's like it's, it's way too like deep and far for the character obviously like this is obviously i've been quarantined too long it's like way too like i'm going too far <laughs> with it it's like so dramatic but i just think it's so beautiful and again i'm not saying i am so amazing or my editing or anything it was just like what happened naturally in the moment all that to say i want to show you guys the footage that's not edited because what's in the episode video not episode i guess i'm so like episode but the what's in the video is like just a little part of like where i'm in character with like the miranda face in the actual footage you can hear eric being like oh like eric's reacting to how sweet it was and i'm kind of going in and out of character to comfort flynn and then to go back into character and comfort flynn so um i just think the the footage is really sweet so i'm not going to edit it at all i'm just going to show you guys how sweet it is i love you guys and i hope you're all staying safe <sighs> everything's gonna be okay Okay. Do you want to go out and play with Moose? The Tartars and the Kitty Cat? 